Why do men love maps and women can't resist asking for directions? Today we're unraveling the cosmic conundrum. Picture two planets, Mars and Venus. Now, imagine men are Martians and women are Venusians. Sounds like a sci-fi film, right? But in the book Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, author John Gray paints a vivid picture of this interplanetary analogy. He suggests that many misunderstandings between the sexes stem from the idea that men and women, hailing from different planets, essentially speak different languages. This humorous perspective offers a fresh take on age-old relationship dilemmas. It's like we've been playing a game of charades and no one's been keeping score. The men are busy honing their Martian dialect while the women are fluent in Venusian vibes. And all the while, we're left wondering why we just can't seem to understand each other. So buckle up as we blast off into the cosmic journey of understanding the opposite sex. Ever wonder why men retreat into their cave? It's not because they are trying to hide from you? Let's dive into the Martian language. Picture men as independent Martians who communicate in a language that's as straightforward as a New York subway map. They're like lone wolves needing their space to solve problems. They retreat into their cave not to escape from you, but to recharge, to ponder, to untangle the cosmic knots of life's problems. Think of it as their version of me time, like a spa day, but with less cucumber slices and more deep contemplation. It's their way of dealing with stress, like you deal with a pile of laundry, one piece at a time. So the next time he goes silent or decides to hibernate in his cave, don't assume he's avoiding you. Just know that he's recharging his Martian batteries, ready to emerge stronger and more spirited than before. So, ladies, next time he retreats into his cave, remember he is not avoiding you, he is just recharging his Martian batteries. Ladies, ever felt like your man just doesn't get your emotional needs? Maybe he's just lost in translation. Let's dive into the Venusian way of communication. Picture this. Venusians chat like they're weaving an intricate tapestry of emotions. Each thread represents a feeling, an emotion, a thought, they don't just talk to convey information, they're building connections, fostering emotional intimacy. Now let's talk about expressing feelings. Imagine a Venusian in a candy store of emotions. She's not just picking one candy. Oh no, she's sampling a little bit of everything. Anger, joy, sadness, excitement. It's a full-blown smorgasbord of feelings. Remember, it's not about the specific candies, it's about the experience. And here's the kicker. When a Venusian shares her feelings, she's not looking for Mr. Fix-It. She's looking for Mr. Listen to me. So gentlemen, next time she's sharing her feelings, remember, she's not seeking solutions, she's asking for a listening ear. Now how do we build a bridge between these two planets without causing a cosmic collision? Ah, the million dollar question. Well folks, it's all about understanding and appreciating our differences. Imagine this, you're a Martian and you're trying to communicate with a Venusian, but oh no, you're speaking Martian and they're speaking Venusian. It's like trying to order a hot dog in a sushi bar, it just won't fly. So what do you do? You learn each other's languages, you decode the Venusian vibes and she cracks the Martian code. And let's not forget about respect. Respect is the fuel that powers this interplanetary express. It's about acknowledging that Mars and Venus are different planets with different atmospheres, different landscapes and yes, different inhabitants. So the next time you find yourself staring across the cosmic expanse at a bewildering alien creature, remember, it's not about who's right or wrong, it's about understanding and respecting our differences. After all, viva la difference, right? So what's the Big Bang takeaway from our interplanetary journey? Well, it's simple. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. And that's not just a catchy title. It's a reminder that we're wired differently. And that's okay. It's more than okay. It's spectacularly beautiful like a supernova. The key to a successful relationship isn't about being identical, but in understanding and respecting our differences. Our Martian men need their caves, and our Venusian women need their wells. It's about decoding the signals, understanding the language, and bridging the gap between our two distant planets. But let's not forget the humor in this cosmic dance. It's funny how Martians can disappear into their caves for what feels like light years and hilarious how Venusians can talk in circles around their wells. So next time you find yourself in a cosmic conundrum with the opposite sex, remember, we're just Martians and Venusians trying to understand each other's planetary dialects. And remember, the universe is a lot more fun when we can all laugh at our differences.